Managing User Mailboxes Most mailboxes in an exchange organization are regular user mailbox associated with a user account in Active Directory Forest. And these mailboxes contain messages, calendar items, notes, tasks and contacts. You can create these mailboxes by using the Exchange Admin Center or by Exchange Management Shell. So when you create a mailbox, you have an option to either associate the mailbox with an existing Active Directory user or create a new one. In order to create a new mailbox, you have to use a commandlet new mailbox and to configure an existing user account with the mailbox, you have to use the enable mailbox commandlet. So let's see some of the configuration option available in an exchange admin center. This is a one mailbox for administrator. And if I go to the properties, you can see these are the option here. In general, we can configure username and custom attributes. Here you can see the first name, alias. And if you go to the more option, we have a custom attributes here. If I click on edit, you can configure it with the custom attributes. Let me go to the mailbox usage. Here it displays the last logon information and you can configure mailbox size limit and retention settings. You can see customize the quota setting for this mailbox. If I check this we can configure this. You see the default retention setting for the mailbox database. You can configure it from here let me set it as default inside the contact information you can configure information such as address and phone number like city state zip country workspace mobile and fax we have some more option web pages home phone or note in the organization we can configure the title department organization and manager setting and inside the email address we can configure the email address assigned to the mailbox we can add other email address as well according to our organization settings and inside the mailbox feature we can configure the policies that apply to the mailbox like role assignment sharing policies retention policy and address book policies and if you go to the member of here you can view the groups to which the user account belongs. Right now we don't have any. So let's go to the mail tip. Here you can configure the mail tip for the mailbox to be displayed when user add this recipient as a message recipient. Mailbox delegation. Here you can configure the send as and send on behalf and full access permission to the user mailbox. If you want to give it as a send as permission, you can add and give it as a permission of a send as or permission of a send on behalf. And even you want to give a full access, you can give that. So this was the configuration feature available in Exchange Admin Center for the mailbox recipient. Let me cancel it. So if I want to assign a email address to my existing account, from here I can just select the existing user and click on browse I will say test one and will click on OK as it's a existing user already in our active directory so everything will be selected automatically though you can choose an option like on which mailbox database you want to keep it as we have a two database but if we click on save by default it will choose it otherwise you can browse this option and you can choose it right now I am not selecting it so I will click on save and the test one is created this is for the existing user you can uh, create your mailbox for existing user if you want it to create through the exchange admin center and if you want to create a new user you can create a new user mailbox and here you can select the new and now you have to type everything for this user I will type as a test for display name let me select the organization unit as a testing click OK username will be test 4 the password for the user and click on save so it will create a active directory user by the name of test 4 and will assign the mailbox to it so you can see we have test 1 and test 4 this was the existing user and this is a new user 
the new user is created in active directory and the email is assigned to it and how we can create mailbox via exchange management shell we have seen that in our previous video we have enabled the mailbox for our existing user and also we have created a new user so this was the example for creating a single user for example if you want to create a multiple user you want to create mailbox for multiple user residing inside particular OU for example in our sales OU we have two users sales1 and sales2 so if we want to assign an email address to both user we can use this command that get user organizational unit sales so as there are already users inside our active directory we will use a enable command enable mailbox and in which database we want to put that let's put it inside a mailbox database db01 so we have to select the database db01 so this command get user organizational unit sales enable mailbox database db01 I have to type full name like organizational unit so now all the users inside the sales organizational unit the mailbox will be assigned and mailbox database will be db01 so let's hit enter so it gave an error just because the spelling of the database is not correct so you have to keep in mind every time you type this the spelling should be correct so now it is correct and let me hit enter now you can see the sales 1 and sale 2 they have been created so if you have a 10 or 20 user inside this organization unit you can assign a mailbox to all of them in a one go let's have a look right now we don't have any users here if I refresh it and let's see we have a sales 1 and sales 2 if we go to the properties of sales 2 let's see the email address we have a sales 2 at techiecheck.local so by following this command you can create multiple user accounts for your organization